Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, Jessica, how do I be irresistible to women? Well, I'm so glad you asked, because that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And when I say irresistible, I basically mean women will not reject you or want to reject you. In other words, they will not resist you. <laughs> so to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to be non-rejectable or another one of my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button with that notification bell did you get that okay so basically i'm talking about we women will not have as cold a front or you know as much of a wall up when it comes to you approaching us or if you even know her already she will very quickly say to herself ah well i am really like so not resisting him anymore it's about us feeling compelled to engage with you, to connect with you, and to basically move things along on our end as well. But being irresistible shouldn't even be the end goal because if you stop right there, it could still even land you in the friend zone. So make sure you stay till the very end where I'm gonna talk about taking being irresistible and using it to your advantage to get and keep the women you want in however way you want them. Oh, is my nip showing? So the first one is it all starts with making her feel like she knows you. People cannot resist something or someone they know. Granted, unless we already know we want to fucking resist you, it's one of those things that if we go out and about in public and we see somebody that we think we might know and we don't hate them, something happens where we're naturally inclined to break all our walls down. I'll tell you right now, I was in the Victoria's Secret yesterday and this lady was wearing the same shoes as me and I was like, oh my God, this is like my best friend. It can be as simple as that, where something about you makes us feel like we know who you are, and you might also know who we are too. When people hear other people in public talking about things that they know anything about, we tend to want to engage with those people. For me, if I heard anybody out and about mention Game of Thrones, I am darting headfirst into that fucking conversation, whether they like it or not. And y'all already know, I'm introverted as fuck, so I'm not starting any conversations out there, so this should say a lot. When we feel like we know you or we might know you, we won't be able to resist you. The second one is is connect. Okay, so back to the lady wearing the same shoes as me at the Victoria's Secret. I went up to her and I was like, hi, we have the same shoes, hi. And I thought we were just gonna be best fucking friends from there. And then she looked at me and she was like, oh. Cool. Then I was like, fuck this bitch, I hate her, I never want to see her again. You have to make a connection. If we don't feel like we are connected in this knowing of one another, it doesn't fucking matter. You're just another familiar face that we may or may not want to avoid. So for instance, if you see the same coffee barista every day, but you're just like, hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And then you leave, fine. You may be familiar, but you also may be that fucking weirdo that comes in every day and just gawks at her saying, how are you, kid? Thanks, bye. Unless you're creating a connection, you're not doing anything with that familiarity. I'm talking about connecting who you really are with your thoughts, feelings, personal experiences to her thoughts, feelings, and personal experiences. If that lady at the Victoria's Secret would have said something like, oh my God, do you wear these like every day like I do? I would have been like, yeah, I do. Do you want to do brunch and then black out? That's all it would have taken. I'm telling you right now. So it's not enough for her to just get to know you because some of you already have a girl in mind who she already fucking knows you. You have to create the connections. And I talk about creating these connections in my Speak Spark Arousal system, which you can check out right now at SpeakSparkArousal.com. Now the second step, you have to fucking take it somewhere because this is the stuff that's going to make us think about you nonstop. And that is the key to getting us to feel like we are incapable of resisting you, which is make her feel good. So fine, she knows you and fine, you create a connection, you have a shared connection. However, if you don't make her feel good, you're no different than her weird cousin or the neighbor that she waves hello to every day. Y'all live in the same neighborhood. That's how you're connected. You have to make us feel good. This is the stuff that gets us to start really feeling something for you and thinking like, oh my God, I don't ever want to resist him because I like feeling good. I'll tell you right now, if you stop at connection, again, you're no better than family members, coworkers, neighbors. And if you try hitting her up, she may or may not 
respond ever. But if you make her feel good, what you've done is you've now moved from, you know, forced relationship to chosen relationship, which is our friendships. Our friendships are the only relationships that we can actually choose in our life. You can't choose your neighbors, you can't choose your family members, coworkers, who we love. But friends, that is a choice. And that comes from feeling good. And when you make her feel good, now she is choosing you. I'll tell you right now, I'll always answer my friends' texts and calls over my family members, unfucking fortunately Because my friends only make me feel good. And that makes me never want to hit the ignore button. It makes me never want to run and fucking hide. It makes me excited to reach out to them as well. For all you guys sitting there thinking, Jessica, I hate the friend zone. I'll tell you right now, some of you will be fucking lucky to even get to the friend zone. But like I said, obviously from me talking about the friend zone, if you stop there, this doesn't necessarily make her want you in a desirous way that sets you apart from from her girlfriends. So yes, while these three sets will make you irresistible to any woman you want, they won't necessarily make her want you and her puss. That's why it's so important to take it a step further to separate yourself from all the dogs out there and be the wolf among them all. And the way to do that is to flirt. You fucking gotta do it. And if you know it's not your forte, I go over exactly how to do it and exactly how to go all through these steps so it doesn't feel forced, doesn't feel forward, and you know, doesn't make you come off as creepy in my Speaks for Razzle program, which you can check out right now at speaksforarousal.com. So again, these steps will absolutely get you irresistible to women, but it's up to you to take it a step further. Thanks for watching as always. Good luck out there. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you guys next time.